Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So what if I told you about a movie that has a crazy clown, you mix that with Men in Black, Deadpool, and anime, and the main story revolves rocks, papers, and scissors. And oh yeah, it's a Chinese film that actually has Michael Douglas in it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. And for some reason, I still kept watching it. And that is the whole premise of this movie, Animal World. Now, this is a movie that obviously I've never heard of before. I just happened to stumble onto Netflix like I usually do. And I went ahead and decided to watch it. And I just couldn't stop. <laughs> and, and so, um, the story revolves around this main character, Zeng. You know, he's basically having rough times. His mom's sick. He doesn't have any money. His girlfriend wants him to marry him, but he has no money. Uh, and then his basically scoundrel of a friend, Li Jun, gets him into some big trouble. And that trouble leads to Michael Douglas, which I had absolutely no clue he was in this movie. And just the simple fact that he's in a big budget Chinese film makes absolutely no sense. And he does speak English throughout the whole movie. And a lot of the other characters in this movie, they are from different nationalities. And so from the very beginning of the movie, the main character Zhang says that he's crazy. And I would say for the first half of this two hour long movie, you do feel like you're going crazy because you don't know what you're watching. You know, there's action scenes, there's fights in the subway, he's a clown in some alternate weird alien animal universe, which makes no sense. And then, whenever his friend gets him in trouble and he finally meets Michael Douglas, who is basically the boss of this dark organization, that's when things go absolutely nuts. And it isn't until the second half where you really start to understand, I guess, what the whole movie is about. And that happens to be them on this remote ship playing rocks, papers, and scissors. Yeah, that makes no sense at all. But if you've actually watched a lot of anime or a lot of Asian films, I think there's a huge focus on these type of movies, you know, where there's card games or something like that, game of chance. Uh, so that goes into the whole, I guess, genre of like the Battle Royale movie. Have you ever seen that in Japan? And here in the U.S., the Hunger Games. So it's very similar to that. And that's the whole story i mean it's basically about this character who's trying to survive in rock papers and scissors and then how a, much of a genius he actually is and, and that's about it i mean there's really nothing more to that story and so why would i actually keep watching this movie well there are a few reasons uh the first reason most importantly is the characters zhang li Jun, his girlfriend uh, michael douglas and then all the other characters once you meet them on his rocks papers scissors games you really grow to love them. You get you get attached to them. It's it's really much like watching an anime, a really good anime. And that's why I couldn't stop watching because I just wanted to see what would happen to these characters. And then another thing is is the production value on this Chinese film. It's a big budget film and it looks great. There's some really great special effects, a lot of slow-mo, and there's a whole bunch of tension in this, you know, and that I think that's why it's so good. They build tension from rocks, papers, and scissors which is really hard to do. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, whenever you make a movie about gambling or card games or game of chance, a lot of times I think the most difficult thing is just making it interesting, you know, making you want to keep watching it to see what happens. And that's pretty much what happened to me after I watched this whole thing. You know, it has so many different elements. There's a fantasy element. Uh, there's the whole thriller element. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff mixed in. There's comedy but it's just fun. I mean, it's a fun movie. And I will say that it is definitely not for everyone because you're not going to get a normal narrative, a normal story, you know. So anyway, it was a good movie. It was a very unexpected surprise. And at the same time, by the end of the movie, I will never look at rocks, papers, and scissors in the same way again. And so that is for my review of Animal World. If you have seen this movie, let me know what some of your thoughts are. And also, if there are other movies that are similar to this or even anime that you're seeing, I'd like to know that as well. So thanks so much for watching. And if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.